Hey everybody, it's Miss Thompson. Welcome back to Art for this week. We are going to talk about landscapes. Now, um, space is our element of art for this week, and space is really important when it comes to talking about landscapes because it's all about where you place things on the page. Let's um, take a look at the four elements of a landscape, and um, we'll go from there. A landscape has four parts. The horizon line, the background, the middle ground, and the foreground. The horizon line is the line where the sky and the ground meet. And this line is super important because this is gonna help us determine how big the items we include in our picture, how big those items are going to be. The background is the part of the picture farthest away from you and nearest the horizon line. It's at the top of the picture. Things here are gonna be small. The middle ground is the part of the picture that is not the farthest away, but it's also not the closest. It's in between the background and the foreground. And then the foreground, of course, is the part of the picture that's closest to you. It's at the bottom of the picture. Anything you place in the foreground is going to be the biggest things in your picture. Let me give you an example. This painting is called Harvest Panorama, and it's by Robin Moline. This is a great example for you to take a look and identify the parts of a landscape. This red line is going to represent the horizon. Now the horizon is important because it's going to tell you where to put things regarding the foreground, middle ground, and the background. This first yellow rectangle is the background. Anything closest to the horizon, those are the things that are farthest away. This rectangle represents the middle ground. You see the farmer, the animals, the combine, and then the field in the distance. And then this last rectangle represents the foreground. All of those corn plants are the same size, but because of the element of space in this artwork, the ones in the front appear to be larger because it's the foreground. Everything in the foreground is larger than in the rest of the picture. Okay, so here's your assignment for this week. I'd like you to draw a landscape. Um, I'm gonna show you here a few examples to give you some ideas, but you are more than welcome to complete your own. The thing that I'm looking for the most though is to make sure that you have number one, a horizon line, and then I'd like to make sure that you understand background, middle ground, and foreground. So I'd like to see objects in each of those areas. Okay, so this first example is a silhouette picture. I know some of you love to use your watercolors. So if you would like to make um, this kind of a picture, use your watercolors to paint the background. Wait until your picture is completely dry and then um, draw your picture either with a pencil first and then fill it in with Sharpie or get your Sharpie out and draw over the watercolor, it won't hurt your marker, and you can create your cacti. But make sure that you've got at least three, because I'd like to see one in the foreground, middle ground, and background. This is a fall picture of a path through, um, I guess, a forest or a park or something. Um, this is a one-point perspective. We did this one, I don't remember if it was last year or the year before, uh, but we have done this one before. So. Um, if that's something that you remember doing, you can certainly do that. And then this last one is a uh, city one point perspective. Um, you are welcome to do this one as well. Uh, this one's a little, probably a little bit more challenging, um, but I say go for it. If this is something that you enjoy doing and you want to get out your ruler and um, have some fun with it, I say go for it. This last vanishing point picture is um, actually attached to the assignment. If you are not interested in creating your own landscape or you don't wanna do any of the ones that I said, this one has a step-by-step -step tutorial that you can view and draw at the same time. Um, if you have any questions, remember just message me and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Have fun with this. Thank you for your attention and we'll see you next time.